Oh my god, I am so nervous for this video. I am actually sweating. Um, I am filming with my phone. I have no artificial lighting, just my window in front of me and that's it. This is not the front camera, it is the back camera of the new iPhone XS Max. And I'm going to do a makeup tutorial and see how the quality is. I am going to edit this video in Final Cut Pro and then, of course, I will be uploading it to YouTube to see if you can film a makeup tutorial using the new iPhone. By the way, I have a mirror right there. So if I'm looking that way and not in front of the camera, it's because normally my mirror is under my camera. But I don't know, with this tripod, it's a new one, especially for phones. I couldn't do it. So... We're just going to do it like this and starting off with the makeup tutorial, priming my eyes. And I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm actually going to film another video uh, today and I am going to leave this eye makeup on my face. So we can see how it looks um, filming with my phone and with my professional camera. And by the way, the um, camera I use normally is the Canon 70D. Oh, it's not here. Um, I don't know which lens I have, but I will figure it out. If you want to know, please let me know, then I will give it to you. I don't even know how long I can record with this phone, so I'm checking with my mirror if the phone is still recording. Maybe I should have looked that up. Anywho, I am going to use the Morphe 35M palette, and I'm going to start off with this color right here. Oh, can you see that? Yeah, I hope so. There's no viewfinder. And I don't have a mirror like behind the phone, so I just hope that everything I'm doing, you guys are able to see. That's all I hope. By the way, this is the most expensive <laughs> iPhone I've ever had. Like the most expensive phone I ever bought, but it is bomb. I like a tablet kind of phone and I'm an Apple fan, so yeah. I couldn't resist. And the brush I'm using is the Sigma E40. I'm just gonna blend this into my upper crease. I'm just gonna do my regular makeup look, like natural glam, nothing too fancy. Just something pretty, I hope. And I am also very curious on how the sound is on this phone. Uh, normally with my camera, I use a mic. I have the Rode, Rode something. I got that mic a few months ago and before that I just used the mic of my camera. Taking a smaller brush, the MAC 221. Still the same shade, but I'm going to apply it in my lower crease just to make it a little bit more intense. I hope the colors will show on this video oh no the sun is peeking through and it's actually pretty bright so i'm just gonna wait until there is no sun anymore there is a cloud so i'm hoping it will be gone all right so the sun is still out there a little bit but it's not too bright so i'm just gonna keep on filming and i think within 10 minutes it will be gone so we're good i'm gonna take this shade from the Morphe palette. This one is the glittery one, the shimmery one, sorry. And I'm going to wet my brush a little bit and then apply it. Oh, the sun is coming back. <laughs> Ew. I'm gonna take a darker shade, I think. This one, yeah, I think. Here, this one. maybe a little bit of that shimmery shade and then i'm gonna leave it the way it is and do some liner of course i'm gonna use my favorite the catrice liquid liner matte that's long right time for some lashes and i'm gonna use my all-time favorite the um, Toddy Lashes in TL3. All 
right, I think I need to replace this lash. Um, this is an older lash. I don't like to throw them away. This is a newer one, but this one is less full. So yeah. Oh well, it will do. Just gonna let them dry a little bit and then apply some mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm going to use the Body Calcia 24K Gold Elixir. I use about four drops for my entire face. Okay, so for foundation, I have the Too Faced Born This Way, which is my favorite. I think I am in this shade Sand. Maybe I have to add a little bit of caramel. I don't know if it's too dark, so too light, I mean. And I'm going to use the Sigma Angled Kabuki F84 to blend it out. Yeah, on my forehead it's too light, but on my face I think it's fine. To contour, I'm going to use the, ooh, the Smash Box Contouring Stick. Yeah, not too much, just a little bit to give my face a bit more dimension. And that's it. And for concealer, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Medium Beige. And I hope there was still something in it. Ugh. Wow. I want to have everything out of this. Because I don't have another one in stock. Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, that was such a professional application. I like my under eyes to be a little bit brighter, so I am taking this iconic pigment stick. It's actually a foundation stick in 2.1, and I'm going to highlight my face with this one. And I'm gonna set it with a little bit of the RCMA translucent powder. Adding a little bit of the Tarte Tilbury airbrush powder in number two before I'm going in with bronzer. And normally I would use the MAC Gold Deposit because that is my favorite. But because I have this situation going on up here, um, I don't want to use anything that has shimmer in it because I'm just going to highlight those bumps and I don't want that. So to bronze, I'm going to use the Beached Bronzer by Urban Decay and I'm going to use my overly priced Tom Ford brush. It's good though. I think I'm not gonna do anything underneath my eyes, not even eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go in with mascara, and I'm going and I'm using the L'Oreal telescopic mascara. For my highlighter, I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey and my Real Techniques setting brush. almost done let's do some lippies and i'm just gonna keep it nude as usual i'm going to use a bittersweet lip liner by mac a maybelline matte lipstick i believe it's number 930 and a lip gloss <laughs> Oh shit, why not use an eye call? Some lip gloss, this one is by MAC, which is my favorite. I just don't like the applicator. I, it comes in a tube and I wish it was like a, I don't know. What do you call that? 
where you can just put it on. Last but not least, some Fix Plus. Okay guys, so that was the video. That was a full face of makeup filming on a phone. And I am so nervous because this is the first time ever that I filmed a video where I couldn't see myself like on the screen, on my laptop, I always have my viewfinder or my laptop, I only have my mirror up here. So I couldn't see what the quality was. Um, I did see if I was in frame because I have this mirror up here ooh, and I just hold it like that so I could see that um, I am not out of frame. So yeah, I hope the quality is good. I am going to edit the video and I think it will be online today because I want to see it. Again, I filmed this with an iPhone XS Max and I'm not using the front camera, I'm using the back camera. So yeah, I am going to make a picture of this makeup look for my thumbnail and I'm actually going to make it with this phone because the tripod I have came with a remote control which I saw while I was filming, so that's pretty cool. I want to thank you so much for watching and let me know your thoughts on the new iPhone XS. I love it. I love the big screen but and, and the face ID, but I didn't really use anything new besides the camera. So if you guys have some tips and tricks, ooh, I dropped my remote, then please let me know. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I will talk to you in my new video.